Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Medway Park, the home of England wheelchair rugby for the Premier League Grand Final. Please welcome our first team who reached the final, Leeds Rhinos. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our second team contesting the final, Halifax WRL. Your referees are Matthew Ball and Steve Abel. Your in-goal official, Sean Blankensop and Joe Coy. And your scorer and timekeeper here this evening is Helen Abel. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event. The Premier League Grand Final between Halifax WRL and Leeds Rhinos. It's showtime! For the Leeds Rhinos, Number one, Nathan Collins. Number two, Josh Butler. Number three, Ryan Richardson. Number four is Captain James Simpson. Great scrambling defence from Leeds. They're everywhere at the moment. Here's the last tackle. Okay, Jack Brown scores in the corner. Just wrapping around the back there. Yeah, it's about the first points on the board for Halifax. It's uh, six tackles, a forward pass. Uh, knock on or in touch results in a turnover. Uh, there's no scrums in this game, and uh, we want to keep the ball in play as long as we can. That's a great ball. It's a great ball. Yeah, composure there from Ryan Richardson. It's leads his first opportunity in the opposition half, and they come away with a score. Yeah, reward from a great kickoff and a great chase. And he pulled it wide. Hallowell pushing down the left. Josh Butler's got it behind his head. There's the line. That's fantastic skill. Yeah, it was fantastic. Really skill. good skill. Young man's just uh, just broken through into the England squad. He's been training with the England team, and that was really, really great play from Leeds. Interesting early change of kicker. Hallowell with the first one that's went wide. Let's see what Collins can do. Another one goes by. Nathan Collins of Aid the tackle. Okay, first tackle, here we go. Leads the pressurising inside the eight metres early on. That's a really good score. Really good try there from Leeds Rhinos. Well worked. Yeah, once again there, Mark. It starts over on the left hand side. It goes through every player's pairs of hands. They're attracting the defender, and the, the pass selection at the right time is fantastic. And Jody Boyd Ward kept a discipline, uh, trusted a man insider. And was just there when Richardson looks to offload and, uh, and pops it down in the corner. So that's three tries on the bounce for Leeds. So we're changing the kicker again. We're, we're back onto Halliwell. Um, and they'll be looking to uh, get more than one score ahead um, of Halifax. So this game can turn real quickly. Here he goes. Nope. Yeah, the, the whole of the Leeds team on the field are in the England squad and they're, they're showing why now and they're really working hard, working hard for one another. Richardson's got another one down. Here comes Nathan Collins, looking to break the Leeds duck uh, on, on the conversion so far. I think he's trying to just wearing a little port kick. <laughs> I think the wind caught that one. Yeah, the wind howling down the middle of our rugby league field uh, here, here in Medway. Collins, this is important. Collins has got to compose himself. He's an accomplished kicker. Uh, made his England debut in France last year in the World Cup and was kicking goals for fun and enjoying himself. So we know he can do it. And, uh, up up. There we go. That's a great kick, first one. And the lead's bench to our left. Recognise the importance of that. And there's uh, a bit of a lift. He's just stayed alive. Interesting basketball style over the top lob pass. Yeah. That's another great score there from. Seemed like an eternity where, uh, where Boardman was alongside Josh Butler and for some reason didn't make the tackle or couldn't make the tackle. Nathan Collins flying this kick up. They're looking to build on the successful one last time. Steve Abel and Joe Floyd. Behind the goal with the flags. He's got it again. Fantastic effort from yeah, Nathan yeah. Collins. That was right on the touchline and uh, he's got a bit of rhythm going now and build it up. I've just noticed he's using a towel. It's clearly warm in here with a, 
you know the extra lighting we're bringing for these grand final nights and uh, and also the extra bodies in here will be making a real difference i'm really impressed with how composed leads are in this uh yeah they're just opening they're, 29 minutes really really patient kick from collins a kick a little a little like a, the, uh, a, a, try. almost like a chip over the top and the try is given the try is given He's, uh, went over the top of the defender uh, and uh, just well put down, well executed by um, uh, Ewan Clibbins on, on that occasion, right place at the right time and uh, pushed through uh, following the kick from the inventive kick from Collins. Looks like Halliwell's back on the field as well, I'm not sure uh, maybe Collins is going to take this kick and come off, I don't know. So, uh, He's kicked that one, Collins, which pushes the score out to 30 points to uh, 6. That's Boardman on the outside, and there's a try. Yeah. Wayne Boardman. Real simple. Nathan Holmes just drove the ball real hard, sucked in a couple of defenders, quick play the ball to the flying Brown. He went at a 45 degree angle again, pulled in defenders, Boardman held his position on the wing and just touched down. And uh, here comes the fight back from Halifax. Here's Holmes again, powering at the line. The move coming on. Real composed defence here from Leeds, good online defence. And the consistent refereeing from Matt Ball is ruled that that ball. Uh, um, and we've just been beaten there by a special bit of play. Yeah, the ball's ruled backwards and Lee and Halifax have carried on. Great hands from Holmes. Uh, so I can see him now, he's really blowing Nathan Holmes, but he's working really, really hard. And uh, he's, uh, him being on point is enabling Brown in particular, but supported by uh, Boardman to, to move the ball around and uh, close that gap again. So we're at... Um, 14.30 with two minutes to go and this kick to come from Boardman. Successful kick. Half time with a score of Leeds Rhinos 30, Halifax 16. Fantastic first half of rugby league. Just what you want in a grand final of two teams. Uh, Leeds certainly at their best. Um, Halifax coming back in in the uh, in the uh, <coughs> last part of that uh, that half. I'm just going to hand over to the two captains for uh, their thoughts before they go in for half time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's just time to catch a uh, quick word with the two captains. I'll start off with uh, Halifax's captain, Wayne Mormon. Wayne, a couple of late tries brings you right back into this contest. Yeah, it does. Uh, we need to start finishing those uh, sets, completing the sets and uh, silly mistakes, which I think we started to do at the end. So hopefully we can continue that to the second half. Big uh, second half coming up. What are your expectations? Well, we're just going to continue doing what the end there. Like I said, we've just got to complete a six, make sure the tackling is complete, and I think uh, it's going to be a tight game. Fantastic, Wayne. Thank you very much. I now move on to James Simpson, captain at Leeds Rhinos. James, you must be absolutely delighted about how quickly you're out of the blocks today. Yeah, usually we start quite weak, or we start kind of really takes us a while to get into our kind of groove. But today we went out there really strong, and kind of everything seemed to work for us, and we really performed together as a unit. You've got some real pace and youth in the side this year. It's been very impressive. Yeah, we kind of we've got a few um, older players now who are kind of uh, international players, and we've got a lot of young players that have been coming through the ranks for a few years now, and they're they're knocking on that door of kind of getting that starting spot in the in the starting five now. And uh, Josh and Ryan have been excellent. Two tries apiece so far. Yeah, they're both in fantastic players. They're both in the England performance unit as well, so they've come on leaps and bounds over the short few years they've been playing, yeah, so we've just got to try and keep it up now. Fantastic. James, thank you very much indeed. Ball and played now. Leeds flying down the field. Uh, trying to put pressure on the nation. It was a great kick. Well, well done by Holmes, just outside his line. There's the ball over. Oh, what a ball, what a ball. What a great score there from Leeds Rhinos. Fantastic. And once again, every single Leeds player has touched that ball on, on that tackle and produced something fantastic where Helliwell just had to catch the ball and roll over the line and, and, and put it down. And uh, uh, credit there, Leeds, to that working hard for each other and great skill. 
but I, I'm, although they've beat Halifax on a couple of occasions and really close, I don't I think this is new territory for Leeds to be uh, 18 points ahead with this kick to come in the second half of the game. So this is really interesting how this is going to uh, unfold. It's a really important kick there. Successful conversion from uh, Nathan Collins. Carry there. And we're backed up by uh, Richardson. And on Boardman. Smart carry from Boardman. Boardman's through. He just needs support. And ours, there's Brown. They'll do well to catch him, and they don't. Really smart play there from Boardman. Uh, Brown making himself available. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's instinctive between those two. Boardman did really, really well. He. Uh, he evaded the tacklers, got through the line, not really at pace, but has the experience and the and the wit to uh, to stay alive and waiting for the book for Brown who uh, who moved there really quickly. Down to be very respectful too. They get really into this game. So uh, Collins puts the ball deep. Holds up just before the try line. That's fantastic pressure. Great kick chase there from Tom Halliwell. And the try is given. Really against the grain there, Martin. It's well, an interesting turn in the tide. Well, Leeds went back to the kick that worked for them, which was turning the, uh, the Halifax. And this is the Medway big pitch factor again. There's space out there. Collins found it. Halliwell just pushed, pushed his wheels, pushed his chair as hard as he could. Uh, and the ball didn't bounce right for Boardman. Uh, it came off the post and Halliwell was there to pounce and uh, take that momentum back uh, towards Leeds. Collins is taking his time here. Successful kick. Yeah, it's an important kick as well because that pushes the, uh, the gap out to 20 points, meaning that Halifax are going to have to score at least four four times and convert them uh, to overtake Leeds and that four although it can turn around quick is, is something for Leeds to defend coaching the receiving from the uh, England setup there's another try it's Nathan Collins and right through the middle this is a really interesting remaining um, 24 minutes Leads further forward as the scores of 48-22. 56 minutes gone. Brown. That's a, that's a try. Yeah, yeah, that's a try all day. Jack Brown has got that in that he can score from anywhere by just doing that one-handed, that left-handed, one-handed push, steering the chair uh, with, with his lower body and the ability to evade a player pulls Halifax back in. post bounced on the crossbar drops over well uh, we maybe look back at that one uh, towards the end of the game and see how important that was it doesn't matter how it gets over as long as it gets over and Boardman is smiling again Nathan Collins immediately uh, calls for the kicking tee and, uh, and, and, and calls for two that's a smart decision I just think it's nudging the, uh, the scoreboard forward, they will take possession. Maybe, maybe. If he kicks it, it'll be the right decision. There we go. The right decision. Yeah, yeah, it was a great decision by Nathan Collins there to uh, to take the two and keep the pressure on uh, keep the pressure on Halifax. Harry to the left. He goes Brown, and again, and he's given the try. Uh, yeah, just just that arc. He's able to do the arcing movement in his chair, body uh, moving around, evasion. It's it's like a sidestepping player, and uh, very very difficult to stop. You've got to be very very accurate with tagging, but he pegs it back a bit closer. And if uh, if Boardman gets this kick there within 16 of Leeds, which he has done, and that gap gets ever closer. And this is an absolutely fantastic game of rugby league. That's good play from Nathan. He's working out. Carry. 
Yeah, he's playing like... He's feel his way into the game a little bit more now. Collins, Holmes is there. Uh, he's playing like a, a proper prop forward, touching the ball to the line. Here's Brown again. Brown's gone. Brown's gone. This is interesting. This is the, uh, the wave we expected, we talked about before the game. Leeds, Leeds' body language is not good. They're sitting behind the post, staring into space with their arms folded. Boardman uh, gets the goal, takes him to win 10 points. We're now 40 points for 50. Brown chases after the ball and receives the ball. And Leeds have gone lethargic again and are just dawdling up the field. Crowd have been impressed with the action that uh, yeah. took place. This has been a... That's been a... What a great chase there. Josh Butler, absolutely fantastic. Pushing really hard, playing the pressure. And the, uh, the match officials are getting together here just to have a, have a little look. Um, here we go. It's coming. It's coming. There's some nodding. No, there's no one nodding. This is a key moment in the game. And now we've got the foot stamping going on on the other side of the field. And Matt Ball is going to, and he's given the try. He's given the try. Crucial kick it. Really, really important. wide. Jack Brown was missed by Butler uh, and, and uh, Hollywell, and then straight in front of him was Richardson and Boyd Ward. But, uh, this is an interesting one. He stayed in his chair. Yeah. He got I think this try is going to be given. Yeah, it is. And there's a score. Yeah, we. That, it's not acceptable to dive to score a try in uh, in wheelchair rugby league against the laws of the game. But I don't think Brown did uh, drive. I think his chair was knocked as he was about to put the ball down, which tipped him out of it. And then, Contact, yeah, 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 the referee made a correct decision. Goldman needs to take his time. This is a crucial kick. I bet Brown chases the ball as well and gets it back. He's just missed that. Goldman has missed it, but Brown's gone after it. Three seconds. James Simpson puts the ball out of play and Leeds go absolutely bananas. Fantastic scenes here from uh, uh, Leeds Rhinos. Credit to Leeds Rhinos, they've been working at this for years and this is their moment. Um, this, is, uh, this is what you get when you work as hard as that club has done. Uh, this is a very, very well deserved victory. It's a special moment there between uh, Ryan Richardson and Jack Brown. Yeah, yeah. Sharing that moment, some real good respect there from two of the England players. Well, we're all part of the rugby league family, and nothing epitomises the rugby league family uh, like wheelchair rugby league. And uh, this is a special moment, and I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm proud that I'm here uh, to witness this. Uh, a group of people who worked hard, and I must also say Halifax have been absolutely fantastic as well. Uh, played some fantastic football in a different style to Leeds um, and uh, just been part of an absolutely magnificent occasion and uh, people are starting to get to their feet so they can see uh, these athletes these fantastic international athletes have been on display so from an England perspective really really pleasing to see all the England, England players stepping up performing under some great pressure really good to see